Welcome back to Labib Support Channel here on YouTube. Today's walkthrough tutorial is going to go over settings and also show you how to self-checkout and place a hold as a patron. If you haven't already, be sure to sign up for a Labib Pro account to access the features shown in this video. Now let's get started. Now that we have successfully logged into our Labib Pro account, we're going to want to go to the left-hand side of the screen to publish. Once you're in publish, you'll want to go to the third option, which is the settings tab. Once you click the settings tab, there will be a list of settings to choose from. Require patron login, allow patron holds, allow patron self checkouts, patron account page, your email notification for patron holds, contact email, and also a link to view lending settings. We are going to go down to the second setting, allow patron holds and click that. It will then drop down some information letting you know that allow patron holds grants patrons the ability to place a hold on an item in a published library. Patrons will automatically be emailed when an item becomes available unless hold emails have been turned off in lending settings, which you can click this blue lettering to take you there. Today, we would like to allow patron holds to be turned on, so we're gonna turn on this function. And it'll let you know in the top right-hand corner, publish site option updated. Underneath the button that we just clicked, there is an option for disallow holds on collections. This does not allow patron holds from these collections. As I go down to this box and click it, it shows all the collections that I have and I can click on those to add them there. And I can click the blue button to update. The patrons cannot place holds from these collections indicated on the top right of the screen. We'll then wanna to go to the next setting which is allow patron self checkouts. When I click that, it will show that allow patron self checkouts grants patrons the ability to check out available items in a published library. We would like to turn the setting on for today. It will also notify you in the top right hand corner and underneath the on button, we have disallow checkouts from collections. So this does not allow patrons to self check out items from those collections that you choose. We will then go down to the next setting, which is your email notification for patron holds. And when you click that, it will also drop down some more information that will let you know your email notification for patron holds. Receive an email notification when a patron places a hold on item in any of your collections. We're gonna turn that on as well. So whenever a patron places a hold in your collections, it will notify you via email. And underneath the on and off button, we have disallow hold notifications from collections. This means we do not want to receive hold notifications from the following collections, which you can also click and update as well. And underneath that, the last setting that we can change is contact email. This allow patrons to contact you at email. It creates a contact link on your published library. You can add that contact email right here. This will allow you for patrons if they're having any issues to reach out to you. Another hold setting for patrons can be found under settings on the left hand side to the second tab in lending and then down to patron hold emails. When you click that, it will drop down a setting letting you know that by default, patrons will automatically receive an email if a held item is available. Emails are batch sent throughout the day and we would love to have our patrons get a hold email. So we're gonna turn this notification on. And I'll let you know, patron hold email setting updated on the top right of the screen. Now that our settings have been complete, let's place a hold. Now that I'm on the published URL, let's place a hold. I'm going to go to the first book right here, the Catstronaut Space Station Situation, and I'm going to click that title. When I click that title, all the information is loaded and above the cover image, I'm gonna go up to where it says add hold and click that. It will then add my item to a queue where it lets me know that I have zero items for checkout and the item that I just placed on hold, the Catstronaut space station situation. At the bottom, we have when your holds become available, you will be notified via email. And now I want to click the blue complete button to continue. The patron login will then appear and I can enter in my email address or barcode ID number, my password. But if I do need a password, I can click this need password question mark link. It will then take me to the request password page where it will have me enter in my email address and a new patron password will be emailed to me. Now that I have entered in my patron login information, I am going to hit the login button or that my items have now been processed successfully. So we have successfully placed a hold. Now let's self check out an item. I am going to go over to Catstronauts Digital Disaster and click that title. 
To check out the item, I will go above the cover image to check out, which is the second option. And I'm gonna click that. It will then add my item to the queue under checkouts as the one item, Catstronauts Digital Disaster that I just added, and I don't have any holds. My checkouts have a due date of August 11th, 2024, and now I'm ready to complete the action. And so I'm gonna click the blue complete button. It will ask me for my patron login information again, and I can enter my email or my barcode ID and my password. Now that I have entered in my patron login information, I'm going to hit the blue login button. It will then verify, and now it says my items have been processed successfully up here in the right-hand corner. And I have successfully self-checked out a book. And that is going to be it for today's tutorial video where we went over the settings and showed you how to self-check out and place a hold as a patron on the Publish Libib website. If you have any additional comments or questions, feel free to reach out to us on libib.com. We do have a support form that you can fill out where a human always responds, never a robot. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more Libib tutorial and support videos, and we will see you next time for a new video.